On the hillsides of Lima, giant nets pull water right out of the air, helping to quench this parched city's thirst for affordable water. The fabric catches fog blown in by ocean breezes from off Peru's coast. Condensed water collects drop by drop into homemade gutters. What started as an experiment by a development nonprofit two years ago has become a windfall for this migrant community. Each week we have to pay five to seven U.S. dollars for every tank of water. So you can imagine how much we have to pay per month. The water system helps us a lot. We use the water for our plants. We have gardens to grow vegetables in the winter, and this system provides us with all the water we need. The nets, which cost just $1,000 in materials, now provide more than 200 liters a day for 70 families. It's not clean enough to drink, but they hope to have a filtering system soon. Perched in a desert mountain climate, Lima has very little rainfall, only about an inch and a half a year. That means a constant water shortage. Jose Luis Carmen uses more than a third of his income to buy water. It almost takes all our earnings. Sometimes we can earn up to $10 if there are enough cars to wash, and sometimes we get enough to pay for the cost of the water. Sometimes we only have just enough money to eat. In poor areas, water costs 50 cents per barrel. That's about 10 times more than in middle-class neighborhoods with running water. Authorities are working to provide more Lima residents with reliable access, but chaotic growth is threatening already scarce resources. There's internet, there's cable TV, there are mobile phones, but what are lacking are the most basic and important services, running water and a sewage system. A third of Peru's population now lives in Lima, and as climate change shrinks glaciers in the Andes, there's increasingly less meltwater flowing into rivers to supply this arid coastal city, turning people out into the fog for water.